Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing okay myself. I am rearranged my room again. I put it back into the old way. I did get some new storage units. You guys are all familiar with the old Alex drawers. Um, after looking and looking and looking, I, I have to say they are pretty much the easiest storage that I've seen so far. And so I'll be getting two more of those to go in that spot over there. And then I will be <clears throat> getting a couple of other items for the room. And then I got this huge desk that I am like completely in love with. It's like 74 inches long, I think 74 inches long. And then it's got an Alex drawer on each end and I just am in total love with it. Uh, I needed something to work on. I didn't really have a proper workspace and desk at the, at, in the same spot that I could work at. And so this is just gonna make my life so much easier. And I've been saving up for forever for this. So I'm so excited. It took um, a, a week to like do it and get the room back in order and and all that so i'm sorry if i didn't i i didn't plan ahead for any videos so i'm sorry if i was um, off the grid for a bit so hopefully i'm back i am sitting back with here with some new video or uh, new videos uh bleh. um i am here with some new products i'm really excited some of these are going to be first impression items i have not had the privilege to try yet I'm very excited about them i'm going to be trying the new fenty foundation and the new skin do by vive that is all over so excited for that one of their new their new um blushes colors that i i don't have i haven't tried and um a few other new items so if this uh, video sounds interesting to you i'm just going to be making a really simple fun uh easy to do summer look nothing huge then uh, this sounds interesting to you then go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh and hit the notification bell so you know each and every time that i upload for my each and every time i upload a video and uh let's get into the video okay so i i actually have nothing on my face right now except for what i put on in my morning routine which I had already done. I'm gonna put my hair back now that I'm thinking of it. If you hear these weird sniffing noises, um, that would be my pups. Now that I have a proper space, I can actually have them in the room with me. So um, I have my two adorable little fur babies, uh, Charlie and Daisy in here with me. I had been testing out last video one of the last videos the wet and wild glass corrector i love this product i think this is a great a great little primer so i'm just continuing to use it and i'm actually mixing it with the milani soft focus glow um, this is an older product not anything new um, i'm just putting it on there for a little bit of an extra dewy look so I put like one little pump of the primer and then a couple of pumps of soft focus glow. You can use any of these products. Um, feel free to follow along with me. Sorry for the breakage, breakout, it's on my face. Uh, I happen to break it out when I am very stressed. I will tell you this past week and a half, trying to get that furniture was stressful. I do not have a Nikea near me and they do not ship to my area. We had to travel a bit and that's why I could only get three drawers at a, and the desk at a time because it's all the fit in our vehicle <laughs> and that's barely fit in our vehicle. They had not been in the store for so long that only got an in a limited quantity and we had gone um where we had gone to get them there was like two different ikeas within probably about 50 60 miles apart from each other once one sold out on on our way there 
we had to make an adjustment and go to or the other one. Oy. And then they only had it like four. And when we got there, people had obviously had the same idea we had and had rerouted and were heading over to the other one for desks. I guess there's a lot of people that are still working from home. I am one of them. There is the primer and the glow. Could my voice get any higher? I am gonna put on the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. I was so excited to get these because I have been waiting to get them from Sephora and they just didn't have my color at all. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I finally just decided to order off of Fenty and Fenty was having a sale, so he was having a sale, so lucky for me. I am really excited to try this. I have seen a lot of, wow, that's perfect color for me too. I'm actually just trying to not put on too much because it's kind of a kind of a heading to the beach look. I just want a little bit to cover, you know. I don't want a lot. Wow. It doesn't even look like I put anything on. Well I'm glad I waited and got this color which What's number six is my color. I'm just trying to color cover up the discoloration areas that I have going on. It said to either use it as a, as with your, bleh, I can't talk today. Um, put, apply it with a brush or your sponge. No, a blush or fingers, a brush or fingers. Oh, I figured I would, Put it on with oh this is really a unique texture it makes you kind of want to pat it in almost i really like that <laughs> i don't know if you can see my skin up really close but that is beautiful i really like that i think i found my new favorite foundation and I'm having trouble looking and I smoothed my camera. So I keep looking in the wrong direction. So next I'm gonna just go in and try and cover up my dark circles. I'm gonna use my Kosas uh, concealer and cover up my little buddies that are hanging out, hanging out everywhere. Just I totally forgot one eye over here. Okay, now when I put in my Fenty order, I had noticed that they also had this Bright Fix Eye Brightener. So I thought I would give it a try. I didn't read whether it was supposed to be put on after or before your concealer, so I figure after, I'm just gonna, it, it's very sensitive. It comes in a squeeze bottle, but it, it's very sensitive to squeeze. So I recommend squeezing it out in your hand. And you, a little, a little is a lot. I'm, this is my second time applying it, so I'm not sure my feelings on it yet. There's the base. Now I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Candid Photo Ready 
setting powder. I love this powder. It is nice. I'm just going to put some on my dry sponge. Yes, yes, dry. And just press some up here. And I find it sets my under eye really well. This photo focus one does not make anything look too cakey. Just leaves a very um, smooth look. I don't know if you can see very well, but it doesn't look cakey at all. And then I just put a little where I know I have some lines where the um, makeup will crease a bit in my laugh line or where I don't want to be sticky for the day. I am going to bronze a little bit. I, when I was rearranging my drawers, that's the good thing about those drawers. You can see what you have. Um, I found that I had gotten Benefit Hula Caramel. I have no recollection of getting it. I really don't. So I, it's an awful yellow tone, awfully yellow toned. I am not sure if it'll work for me. That could be why I don't remember it. So I am just gonna try it, I guess. Tap it out really well and see if perhaps I can use it as a bronze uh, contour powder. I don't think it's too bad. I'm just gonna really apply it very lightly. Kind of gives you that gold, goldish look. And don't forget to put on your sunscreen, very important. too bad. I kind of like that. It's like a very golden hue. I think the trick is very blending it quite a bit. And I'm going to take a very big brush here. And I also picked up, since I was there, they had on sale uh, Fenty's um, Brow MVP. I picked it up. I think it was in Ash. It, I like the product, except the tip keeps coming out all the way. I'm not really sure why. I'll probably speed you through this just for the sake of time. Okay, so there is the brows. I like them very much. And it's got this cutest little brush on the bottom just to brush your brows up in. I think that is adorable. Look at that. There's a little mini brush. Look at that. That's so cute. That's adorable. So I do like, I really like the shade. I'll have to look and see what shade this was, but I love the shade. It just works really well. It's kind of an ashy tone for me, but I love it. Very, very good. And then I just go in with my Revlon Colorstay Brow Fiber Filler. Try saying that one three times fast. Brow Fiber, fiber Filler, Brow Fiber Filler, whatever. I still haven't quite gotten the hang of it. There's those little brushes on the end and then a whole brush thing there. too complicated for me. I think we're good. They're up there. Stay, caterpillars. All right, those are done. Yay. All right, now I'm going to do my eyes. 
going to think about that for a second. What do I want to do with my eyes? I really don't. I want to do a simple, 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 simple. Because if you think when you're at the beach, half of your makeup is going to come off anyway. So I don't want to really bother doing too much with my eyes. So all I want to do is take a little bit of my concealer. I'm going to put it on my eyeballs. Put it on, put it on. That's a good little brush. It's angled and everything. Oh yeah, what brush is it? It's a ColourPop, believe it or not. F12. It's an angled brush. It's perfect for concealer and... Now I'm going to pop on some powder just so it doesn't crease. Yeah, I could have done this all when I was doing my freaking face. My face, pardon me. Okay, there's nothing going to crease. Powdered, concealed up. That's going to reduce any discoloration, any redness in my eyelids. All right. Then all I'm going to do, and this is what I would normally do, I'm going to take a really nice drugstore brown rather easy to smudge gel liner stick eyeliner whatever you go for and i am just going to get a mirror and i am going to line put a little liner on if you're a waterproof wet can wet eyeliner person feel oh feel feel free to use that use whatever makes you comfortable I happen to be using the Essence Kajal pencil. I like the color. I like how it blends. And I'm just going to carefully edge out a little wing there. And then what I'm gonna do is take a little tiny brush and I just wanna kind of smudge the line a little bit, except for the outside line. That outside line, we're gonna try and clean up a little bit. And then you can take any brat Brat, brat. <laughs> you can take any brown um, eyeshadow that you have. I know I have one in my Vive palette, so I'm going to take that one. Take the Lava Rock color. I'm just going to place it on top of the brown eyeliner. And that this also helps you structure how large your wing is or how long you want to make your wing because you have a little bit of uh, movement available in your eyeliner and then I am just going to clean up the edge of that wing and I just take a little bit of you can use foundation concealer on a flat brush and I am just going to clean those edges up a bit I'm just gonna take it down a little bit on my lower, not putting any extra concealer, um, any extra eyeliner on my brush. I'm literally just dragging what's already there. There we go. And I'm gonna go do the same thing for the other side. I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the eyes and I put some just mascara on. You wanna try and make sure you use some sort of waterproof uh, mascara because you might be sweating or you might go in the water or you want it to be beach proof. Everything else can, you know, get washed off. But So um, I'm really excited. I have loved the other two colors that I have of Vive. I have Peche and I can't remember what the other one is. I have the peach colored one and then the deep like brick colored one. So I got Sorbet and then the baby pink colored one, which I can't remember what that one is, but I'm gonna use sorbet today. I think that's beautiful. So excited about that, because I figure it's a perfect sunburnt color for this look. And I'm just gonna place it high up on my cheek. I'm gonna start it there, and then I'm just gently gonna feather it around. I'm gonna try and blend it where it normally my skin would normally get red go look at your any pictures you have of being at the water um, and that'll give you a good reference of where your color showed um, on your face I know I burn real easily right in here usually the white part of your skin burns very easily and I'm just gonna put a little bit in here as if this area 
got a little burnt. That's pretty. You can just start off light and you can always add. There we go. Look beautiful. All right. And then for some reason I don't have a highlighter out. Let me grab a highlighter. I'm going to use my Vive Holy Chic. Oh, well, that's not good. It fell. It fell out. Be careful. Don't hold it up. Okay. And there's that. And then last but not least, I'm trying the Skin Do from Vive. This has gotten really good coverage, so I'm so excited to try this. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand and I'm just going to gently start tapping it in where I want it. Look at the glow. And I picked up a new lip color from Reeve Rumor. That's a pretty color. And then I also picked up a new lipstick called Treasure from Vive. That's really pretty. Oh, I better put some setting spray in. didn't take too too much work to look like we went to the beach and this really is just an easy beach look so there we are it really wasn't too difficult and everything should stay put forward quite some time the new products that i used the fenty beauty foundation i am in love with so far i'm going to continue using it but to see if i notice any difference or or if I see something that I don't like um, but so far I I love it um, I think it's fantastic um, I use the same primer I am not sure about the Fenty um, brightener I didn't I don't see anything different than I usually see I don't know if this was a step that I needed to take we'll see S this sorbet color for my skin tone is a perfect color, honestly, for getting slightly colored or burnt at the beach. I love it. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I, I think it's such a pretty color. It's beautiful. And then the Skin Do. That is amazing stuff. I love it. I wish it came in a bigger tube, Jamie Genevieve. <laughs> because I can see myself going through this quite quickly because this is going to be like number one on my desk all the time um, especially if you're a glow person like me um, the lip liner rumor love 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 the color of treasure I have to say just everything with Vive is hitting it out of the water I didn't put on any lashes. I haven't gotten any of the lashes yet, but I'll be putting in another order, honestly, for more products soon. So those should be coming too. The look is simply, it's to me, what I would wear if I was going to the beach, because this is pretty much what would stay and what would I not worry about rubbing off. Um, there's nothing that I would worry about it, like simply dripping off my face if I was sweating. Um, really easy, easy look to do um, and still look natural and pretty. And I still feel good about it. Um, and that's what the point is, to go to the beach, feel good about it and have fun. Would I have worn this when I was 19? Absolutely. If you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't hit the thumbs up, um, 
it doesn't help my channel. So if you can give the videos a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see best, feel free to comment in the comment section. I would love to hear what you would like to see next. Um, don't forget about my giveaway. We still have not reached 100 subscribers. And let me remind you about the rules to the uh, giveaway. You have to subscribe to my channel, like the video, which was the last video, and nobody's liking that video, you have to hit the like button, and you have to um, leave a comment with your name and how I reach you. If you want to be eligible for the giveaway, um, I've had a, an increase in subscribers, which is fantastic, but I don't know how to reach you. I don't know, <laughs> don't know what to say. Um, so we're going to hit that 100 mark and I'm only going to have a few, uh, people to pick from subscriber wise of how to reach them. Please leave in the comments if you want to be eligible for the, the giveaway, how I reach you and that you, that's, you want to be part of the giveaway and whether you want a Sephora gift card or an Ulta gift card. Um, pick please um, and so we can continue on and start our next giveaway um, anyway that's about all I can think of don't forget about the giveaways um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video and um, until then stay safe healthy and happy and I'll see you then bye bye